Hey everyone, and welcome back to this class, SQL for Noobs and Marketers. In this lecture, I'm going to do a video walkthrough of how to install SQLite on Windows. The reason we're doing this is because it's most common for Windows users to not have command line experience. And so, just in case you didn't exactly follow the instructions in the previous lecture, there's no need to worry as you can just follow along with this one. If you've already got SQLite installed and working, then feel free to skip this lecture. So the first thing we need to do is download SQLite from the sqlite.org website. Hopefully everyone's already done that. Remember that we want the DLL file and the tools file. Now, as I suggested in the previous lecture, I want to unzip these into C colon backslash SQLite. Some of the files you unzip might come in a folder, so if there's a folder, just grab all the files inside it and make sure they're all directly under the SQLite folder. The next step is to set the path environment variable. Since we don't want to overwrite what's already in the path environment variable, we have to append c colon slash sqlite to whatever the path variable already has in it. And so that's what this command does. Notice how a semicolon is used to separate each path. Finally, we want to test that our installation worked. So the first thing is to open a command line terminal. You can do that by typing in CMD into the search. Once you have CMD open, you can run SQLite 3, and this should open SQLite 3 if you did all the previous steps correctly. 